Hey there, lovely soul. This is Infinity and welcome to the Sagittarius April full moon reading for April 2021. It is uh, currently the 25th. Tomorrow is the twosies. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Cards are jumping. Um, so the, the full moon is either late night uh, the 26th or early, early morning on the 27th, depending on where you live in the world. We are welcoming in you, Sagittarius, and your cross watchers. Also, if this is your sun, moon, or rising. Um, also, watch your other, um, your other reads as well to get the full picture on what's going on for you for this full moon through the new moon on May the 11th. If I'm new to you, I'm Infinity, the Healing Butterfly. I have a website, thehealingbutterfly.com org where I offer personal one-on-one -on -one reads in various forms energy healing I am a shaman a mystic a channeler a medium um, a guide natural meta natural energy healer I worked I work with clients worldwide people and animals I offer a ton of services so please check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org and I also have a special going on for Mother's Day that is um, for mediumship and I love doing mediumship and I was guided to put that on special so I have 30 minute and 60 minute uh, sessions that are available aside from my usual 90 minute um, session and these are on a great discount I also have a video that I just posted about it too so it only goes through the 15th so check it out all right let's get into it Sagittarius without further ado the answers you need are coming hopefully maybe right now some of them right full moon in Gemini the answers you need are coming also Gemini the twins so interesting energy coming through here Sagittarius with this full moon we have full moon energy coming through in Gemini representing the twins mirrored energy um, very close uh, relationships, that sort of thing. Let's move next to and with um, Archangel Oracle. I don't have a particular order that I'm going in with these or cards that I'm using with these reads. They're all a little different just depending on what I'm feeling. Because when I tried to set that all up earlier, I couldn't. And that's when I know and I was guided like, oh, it's just going to be a free for all for these reads. So here we go with the Archangel Oracle after the answers you need are coming. So things are going to get clear on different levels um, within you and in your world. Take back your power and clairvoyance. Starting here with Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Yes, yes, yes. Take back your power and clairvoyance. Again with Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Be guided by your guides and guardians, your guardian angel, the archangels. Um, your entire spirit tribe is always working with you and for you. It's typically you that tends to block stuff or tends to be headstrong or tends to be willful or needs to control and doesn't want to go with the flow and is in resistance. And I'm just talking people in general. That's just how we are. <laughs> it's just how humans are until we finally let ourselves fall into faith and trust and go with the process and just allow ourselves to be led which is really freeing and also can be really scary because it's like somebody says to you, you can walk this tightrope. You have the ability to stay balanced and never to fall. And you can't fall, in fact. But you're going to walk this. You're going to have to walk a tightrope. And... Even though you know I can't fall, it's impossible to fall, I'm fully supported, I, I, it's still going out and walking one step in front of the other on something so narrow as faith can feel very overwhelming or scary. 
But once you take one step into that energy and another step into that energy and another step into that energy and you see I'm not falling, I'm supported, it was a little scary, this happened, that happened, I didn't fall, you know, just over and over again, um, that will definitely... Um, that will definitely teach you, condition you, program you, that you can trust and be in faith with the divine and what's coming um, forward um, to you. So again, take back your power. You're so powerful, Sagittarius. You have so much energy, so much power, so much um, support and, and also guidance. And you can... You are connected psychically, energetically, spiritually. Sometimes we're just too in our heads. We dissect things. We don't, we want, or we don't like the answers. We don't want to do what our guidance is. Trust me. That's a thing for sure. I get guided often to do things that I'm not totally comfortable with or I'd rather not do personally. But that's my guidance and that's what I do, whether it's in my personal relationships or my professional relationships with my clients or any or anything. I that's just how I, I how I operate. I go I do and I go as guided, not as I would want. And again, that takes a lot out of it takes a lot out of your own kind of it's like oh, you're always personally responsible for your actions, of course. But within you and your internal, you know, compass and dialogue and faith system and trust system, if you work on that kind of like I do as I go as I'm guided and and that's what I do. And I don't need proof of more other than to feel it from the inside out. Then you can there's a, a very beautiful piece about that because you're not like oh did i mess up in what i did no you went as guided you did as guided and you may not understand how that plays out right now for you and in all of the the steps forward but it's about one step one step one step oh i love it the emperor with archangel whoops archangel michael organization and logic structure and discipline leadership so again, another, so take back your power with Raziel, really speaking to your power. And yes, generally speaking, we're all powerful, but some of us are able to really channel in, you know, we're old souls. We've been here a bazillion times. We, we have connected spiritually over and over again through the process of growing and awakening in our human form and finally remembering who we are and all of that. So when once we decide that this reality is so much bigger and deeper and stronger and richer and that we're so much more connected to it than, than what meets the eye and we start to allow ourselves to go down that path, we definitely will see and will and will experience um those magical type of of moments where we really feel into our into our power and we don't need like once like the the switch is flipped we get it and it's just about needing more of it and getting more clear and being more powerful and really stepping into our abilities and so on and so forth okay let's see what we got here we're getting into the light seers tarot uh, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. Interesting. Eight of Swords. After the Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords right up. Let's get one more with Three of Pentacles. Interesting. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords in Reverse, Five of Swords. Okay, so, 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 so. 
So yeah, if you take a look at this card, I'll show you. I'll show you these cards here. Queen of Wands. You know, she's literally like playing with magic here. So Queen of Wands, Queen of Fire. Um, very creative energy coming through here. Um, it's like if you decide you want to do it, you and do it and put your energy towards doing it, you will do it is what I'm feeling. It's sometimes deciding what to do. I know I have this problem. What should I do? What should I be doing right now? And just for me, it's like I said, I always I try to always go as guided, so I'll just ask like what should I be doing right now because I can really see myself being happy doing different things in this moment sometimes um, and it's not totally clear again going is guided eight of cups leaving a familiar situation going into the future is guided eight of swords coming in right behind it two eights back to back here um, and this Eight of Swords in reverse, what does this tell me? Um, this tells me that we are no longer um, trapped by our illusions here. That um, we have seen past the, 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 the programming, at least to a certain extent, at least enough to know this is not all that there is and maybe you're well beyond that but you're but it's happened again <laughs> this is about a change in in um your own clarity the answers you need are coming and we got clairvoyance so this is your own inner knowing. This isn't an about like, oh, you're going to hear from a certain person and they're going to give you information, you know, aside from maybe something like this. This is about like the answers that you need are coming from within through clairvoyance, through your divine connections. Remember, um, Azrael says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love what this means i'm helping you to awaken your third eye get your chakras into alignment connect with gaia connect with the angelics connect with yourself connect with your soul to feel into energy so you can see get visions understand it's really hard to express what visions are like and what that kind of information feels like other than to say it feels like a memory, like when you're remembering a scene in a movie or remembering something that you've been through and your perspective in it or remembering how you feel. It's the, those are those are the different types of clairs, but they're coming from outside of you. They're not in your mind recalling things, but that's just like the best way I can describe that. And this is what's happening more. And sometimes for us, we're just, we're, we don't know that that's actually happening. It's kind of like fish don't know they're wet. Psychics don't always know that they're psychics. Empaths don't always know that they're empaths. Um, uh, healers don't always know that they're healers. And I was all of those things and I didn't really know that I was all of those things and so much more um, because I was always those things in this lifetime and every other lifetime. So it's just, it just is a thing. And until it clicks in the right way for you to really see what all there is inside of you and who you are and outside of you and how that all relates with your perspective, once that does, again, we have this big shift from being in this in this energy not being able to see where you're going being tied up with other with other things other energies whatever it may be on um, programs people emotions traumas but then it's the in the reverse i love this card in reverse it's actually the what the, my preferred way to get it because it it means that now you've to me and th this in the way that i'm reading the way that i read these cards especially with this deck is that there's been a shift um and but after that shift with this five of swords and it, now it's like okay it's a different kind of confusion it's like these are both kind of confused energies <laughs> happening here but they're different um and whoop, move those around they're a bit different here 
here he's really kind of all alone. What's going to happen? Where like there's just a lot flowing here. There's a lot of lot going on here. Here, if you see this, he's got that birdie on his shoulder and his birdie is like helping him out. That is signifying and look at all those birds in the sky and look at him in the corner happy because it's not much longer until he's not confused anymore because he's gonna have this this direct body soul mind spirit um connection to see this three pentacles this is what i'm seeing here your inner child your spirit your energy and spirit above you so this is like physical your physical self in the now, your inner self or your spirit, and then the divine information, your divine connections coming down and giving you information, cooperation, family, but on a higher soul bait, like divine soul based type level, not just like these are people representing you, your inner self and divine. Okay, let's get a little bit more here. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> uh, we have the death card right side up. We have the six of pentacles. We have the empress. I love it. We have the daughter of swords. The emperor. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so awesome. I love this. The death card coming in under our queen of wands. We have the death card. So yes, starting new, new perspective, a new, um, a really transfer, transformational, transformative, empowering, enlightening, enlightening. We have the emperor twice here. So <clears throat> I was just reminded. <clears throat> so I'm really feeling this guidance coming through not only in the astral, but the physical. So this could be you finding somebody who can really help lead and guide you, help you really understand yourself and your situation um we have the oh gosh this is so awesome we have the emperor and the empress coming out here the empress underneath this eight of cups um really lifting this energy up from below it's like this gaia this intense gaia energy and notice the moon here um so we have the moon um really coming through here really empowering activations i'm hearing activations remembrances work with your merkaba um and the nine of pentacles oh my goodness this is nine of pentacles under the three of pentacles oh wow i need water <laughs> i'm like whoa this is really awesome <clears throat> this is really awesome um okay because the nine of pentacles really signifies a couple of things right off the bat which is of course we've got abundance we've got um unity coming through with this but we've also feel portal shift transformation like if you can imagine yourself stepping through and into this energy really activating you your um and your your body your merkaba your chakra is aligning you with the best possible timelines that you could possibly be on right now because of your awareness because you've been taking back your power excuse me because you have really decided that you know what i think i am psychic or i am psychic or i'm definitely psychic um however you are there there's just more of that energy coming through um so let's do one let's do this archetype um this is the tools for the archetype cards uh 
they come also with the selves, the places. Taking that, the mask. Um, the places and the initiations, but we are just working with the tools and so we have the mask. Let's dive into the mask real fast. Where is it? 187. Okay. The persona, the performance, the reveal. We often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity. Yet, contemplate the possibility that the mask permits our true identity to be revealed. It allows... The mask gives voice to that which was previously rejected. When this card appears, enact the side of you that is seeking expression, yet was never given a role to play on the stage of your life. You are in the realm of theater, so anything is possible. Speak with others' voice. Embody the others' limbs. You are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self. There may be mischief and deception around and others may be trying on new masks too. No one is sure who is who. It's likely you've become so attached to a single mask that you need to fall face forward into this perception, bending time and trust it. Definitely. So this is saying it's time to see yourself in a new, in a new way. Um, and it's like, it's like, who is the, you know, who is the real you? And the real you is someone who is, who is, um, really into and about, uh, creation and connection and yes, being guided here. And, and there is a time for you to, um, really expand this is very expansive um as well a little bit i mean this is similar to the the other couple of of readings that i did for the full moon but also very different um very powerful energy here divine masculine divine feminine coming here with this daughter of swords underneath the eight of swords um really telling me that that yeah this is this is you coming into a higher state of awareness being a lot um finally like or not finally but allowing your inner self to guide you um that inner wisdom that you know the power within kind of thing uh and that the mask the mask is going to reveal like if you allow your inner self your inner self your child your inner child the the one that can put on you know you know a new or allow the that that inner voice to be the outer voice like i'm feeling that sort of energy too uh let's get a couple of crystal cards here there we go personal power personal power with um chris chrysotile Yeah, <laughs> personal power. So there you go. Take back your power, personal power. This is all about, really, this is all about power. Um, the emperor, the empress, very powerful. The death card coming in, extremely powerful energy for new beginnings, for, for creating a new initiation coming through. So a portal, again, like I told you, this is like a portal, a Stargate type of, you know, imagine yourself stepping through this. Like whenever I see this card, I think of, um, and a couple of the other cards in this deck really speak to Stargates. But this is speaking to a period, this period of time and then the nines really expressing that there is, um, this is, uh, 
higher purpose soul mission type business that is about that this is for you and about you because um you are to be empowered you are to come into your magic to to not be confused to allow yourself to be guided um to see with clear vision and you're going through and basically an initiation process at this time this full moon is really activating that big time so you could have done something recently or you may be compelled to do something or to take a step to make a declaration to declare you're done you're starting you're sorry you're you love you you quit you you know something there's like something that's gonna that has activated or will activate this this shift in energy within you and then in your universe as well awesome thank you so much for being here again i want to remind you check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org for free ebooks my podcast links to um, my medium profile and my articles and stories there and of course my services where you can book me and work with, with me one-on-one -on -one if you're so guided i'd love to do that with you i have an awesome ascension um heal healing and clearing program called the evolve now program and other stuff oh and i have a special going on for mediumship for mother's day and i have a video that i made all about that as well so you can check that out on my youtube channel and if you haven't yet please subscribe like tell me what you think of this reading if it resonates with you what it brought up and how how this feels for you leave that in the comments and i will see you soon sagittarius